Good morning, my friends. August 23rd, 2021, 9.24 a.m., and we are still dealing with remnants of Fred, but guess what? There's no rest for the weary in peak hurricane season. We've already got forecasts for Ida and Julian within the next 10 days, both of which, as of now, are going to take place in the Gulf. The second one will absolutely bring major issues to Louisiana and Texas if it stays this way, and chances are that is how it's going to stay. You're taking a look at our current five-day graphical tropical weather outlook chart and we already have two separate invests to be watching in the Atlantic Ocean. I'm going to show you both of these on the current GFS chart. We have this guy right here more than likely not forming. I don't want to set that in stone yet but what I really want you to focus on is this invest right here because we're going to see this one and then in about 24 to 36 hours we're going to probably see one of those long guys right here because we have two storms that are forming within this area by the Lesser Antilles Leeward Islands. This first of which can easily take up the name I as in Ida. The next storm on our 2021 Atlantic hurricane season list. All right, so now that we're oriented, I'm going to show you these two invest. Here is the first one right here, closer to the Cape Verde Islands. We can see that is the X here. So you're going to see that low pressure system kind of flow to the middle of the Atlantic within a pressure break. So I'll go back to tropical tidbits, and here is that low pressure right here. You're going to follow that into the middle of the Atlantic and kind of get swooped around the high pressure bubble and kind of messed up. So we don't know if this thing is going to form, but back to the outlook chart, we have this invest here, and this is the one that you're going to see form and then slam into Mexico slash Texas. Of course, that may change over time, but we're looking at two separate hurricanes within a 10-day period. That's two landfalls in 10 days. Very significant. And we're going to move forward in time here, and we can see that thing popping right up. It matches the invest absolutely perfectly, forms down by Nicaragua, and moves up towards Cancun, Mexico. And now as we switch back to the chart and move forward, we can see that that storm forms and wants to go right into what looks like Mexico and southern Texas by August 31st. Now, keep in mind, my friends, this is not set in stone. Plenty of room for change, but the fact that we're seeing two projected landfalls within a 10-day period is certainly something to talk about. And now, this is very important. Just as this hurricane is making landfall almost in a similar spot to where Grace was going to go, Grace was a high-grade hurricane that hit Mexico. A lot of attention was taken off of it because of hurricane-slash-tropical storm Henry, or Henri, that took over the Northeast. And now check this out as we move forward. The second that makes landfall, we see the new low pressure system pop up almost in the same area as where this storm, Ida, if it takes that name, had formed previously. So right now we have some action going on in the Caribbean as far as the formation of storms. And then check this out, guys. As we enter the first few days of September, this thing pops up, goes over Jamaica, Cuba, passing by the Keys of Florida. And then as we all know, the bathtub of the Gulf, this thing strengthens and take a look at the projected land landfall pressure 955 now in no way am i saying that we are going to get this hurricane at 955 millibars in pressure that's a very very strong hurricane i'm not projecting the strength or where this thing will land i'm simply showing you the data that we have showing two hurricane landfalls within a 10-day period not 10 days from now but within a 10-day period two hurricanes and i gotta say it makes perfect sense to me because look where we are august 20th is the beginning literally of that peak season this is the peak set of weeks we go through August 20th, basically through October 20th. We have another little peak that comes up after that gradual down slip through, through the beginning of October. We always get some little things going on right around here. So keep in mind, we have the bulk moving into the first and second weeks of September. And just take a look at this chart. For those of you that don't know, this is the Tropical Intensity Index. So basically, in a nutshell, wherever you see red is absolutely highly favorable for cyclone formation. And it makes sense because take a look at the Gulf of Mexico. It's a bathtub. Our strip from Western Africa all the way across the warm water belt through the Lesser Antilles and Leeward Islands, all red. Nicaragua and the Southern Caribbean, all red as well. And that's where our storms are forming, at least in this round. Our next two hurricanes could very well be right out of the Caribbean themselves. My friends, that is the latest information as far as a little outlook into the near future. But take a look at our list so far this year. A through H. This is exactly why we called this. This is exactly why we called Henri Henry VIII. It was the eighth named storm. I mean, you can't pass that up, but take a look at Grace, a Category 3 hurricane. Not saying it didn't get attention, but it didn't get enough attention, even by me, strictly because 
of Henri. But I've been digging into the information about Grace, and I'll have an update on her as well. I want to thank you guys all for the support over the last few days. It's been amazing. The interaction has been a lot of fun. I'm very happy that the information was useful to many of you guys. If you want to, we are still dealing with Fred up in the northeast. It is overcast here in northeast Pennsylvania. Lots of rain. Lots of different stories to be told. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Shout out to Canada. I'll be back later on. Send me your pictures. Send me your videos. Anything you want to see featured on this channel. The contact information is below. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.